Before anyone dismisses this video, assuming it's some kind of pathetic rehash for the thousands of other bad habits of manual drivers, trust me, it's not that same kind of video. This video is about the more bizarre habits that some manual drivers have that aren't necessarily bad habits. The first one being shaking in neutral. For those of you that have driven manual or currently own one, do you find yourself sometimes shaking in neutral? Like, you know damn well you've shifted into neutral as you're coming up to a stop, but for some odd reason, you're playing with the shifter, swinging it left to right, making sure for the 10th, 100th time that you're actually in neutral? Why do we do this? Do you guys share this habit? Let me know in the comments section below. Number two, using the handbrake, e-brake, or parking brake all the time. Nearly all my friends and I religiously set the e-brake when we are parked, even when we have to drive an automatic. I get it if you're parking uphill or downhill, but for some of us, we'll even use the e-brake when we're sitting on flat land. I guess the satisfying sound of pulling the handbrake gives us peace of mind as we leave our cars, heading towards whatever it is that we're doing. As for the electronic parking brakes, not cool, man. Flipping a switch feels incredibly underwhelming. Number three, leaving your car unlocked. Okay, this one's kind of a joke, specifically for my brothers and sisters in the US, because we all know damn well it's the, you know, it's the best anti-theft device on the market. Depending on which source you've read, only 15% of Americans can actually drive manual, and as of 2018, nearly 95% of all car sales in the US are now paired with an automatic of sorts. Even in Europe, the safe haven, the fortress, for manuals have seen a decrease in manual car purchases every year that passes. More and more new cars are being purchased with a torque converter or dual clutch transmission. It's only a matter of time before the skill set of driving a manual becomes super rare. Number four, driving spiritedly even if you own a crappy car. For non-car guys, driving is about the worst thing they could possibly do every day. I have had co-workers that loathe driving so much so that they'd rather carpool with four other people two hours a day round trip to work. I may not currently own a manual, but let me just say that driving one is absolutely a thrilling experience. I was in a Kia Soul the other day paired with a manual, and I'm telling you, I, it makes driving more enjoyable even if you're in a non-sporty car. There's a reason why the manual elitists relentlessly protect their babies. Driving a manual is fun, it's engaging, and it kind of makes you feel like you want to drive like you're some kind of fast and furious maniac from time to time. Number five, launching your car from a dead stop just for kicks. I'm guilty of this on my bikes or cars. See, launching an automatic or an electric car doesn't take a whole lot of skill. Ooh, you suck. I know, I know, I'm sorry, but not sorry. It's far easier to get consistent times in an automatic or an electric car because all you're doing is effectively flowing the gas pedal, releasing the brake, and letting the car drive itself. Sometimes, quite literally. <laughs> For manual guys, there's something to be said and admired when you see drivers get outstanding times because you know it takes precise timing and coordination to master the art of shifting. Behind the scenes, you know they've honed their skill set over a period of time, practicing their launches at every opportunity that they get. Alrighty, that wraps up this video. Let me know what other bizarre habits you may have while driving a manual. Please give me a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.